Hey YouTube, it's uh, Daylife1777. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, making a video which is pretty much my continuation video to the uh, Navy boot camp video that I made about a month ago. Um, I'm going to be talking about what to expect when you get out of boot camp, what to look forward to, and what A school is like. Well, to begin, uh, to begin with, I'm going to be mostly talking about engineering rates because you know that's what I am an engineer and that's where I went to I'm not gonna talk to you about something I didn't do and I don't know much about um, a school for me which is for all the engineering and pretty much if you're a QM or an OS or if you're an FC or an ET non nuke you will go to Great Lakes Illinois for a school once I got well once you get to uh, a school you're going to be assigned the barracks, you know, to live in. Um, you're going to be standing watches in the barracks like if it was a ship. My ship was a USS North Carolina. Um, you're going to have four roommates per room, which isn't that bad, you know, considering the fact that you came from boot camp and being in one room with 80 people. So you're going to be enjoying the life there. Um, you're going to be going to school from... 07 to 1600 normally which is you know seven o'clock to four o'clock in the afternoon and you'll be able to sometimes get out early on Fridays depending on how your instructors are and if your class is doing good now for the school side you're gonna be going to Beck which is basic engineering common core uh, for basic engineering common core you're gonna be learning everything dealing with engineering in the Navy you're going to be learning firefighting, which is 80% of the school. You're going to be learning about hydraulics. You're going to be learning about steering. You're going to be learning about lube oils. You're going to be learning about types of fires. You're going to be learning about how to find um, different things on the boat with tack numbers, how to find where you're, you know, how to, so you can know where you're at, so you can know how to find things, locate them with tack numbers. Um... When you're firefighting, you're going to be having your FFE on, which is firefighting equipment. You're going to have everything. You're going to have the tanks. You're going to have the mask. You're going to be fighting real fires. You're going to be dealing with real-life situations. You're going to be in the dark. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be breathing hard. You're going to be with, dealing with you know, a sinking ship with real water. That water is freezing. But you're going to be having lots of fun. You're going to be learning a lot and it, it'll be a lifetime experience well at least for me it was um, Beck will last you about two months and there are seven mods in Beck which last about a week and a half or two weeks depending they're mostly a week um, at the end of each mod you're gonna have a test which you have to pass if you don't pass, the next day you'll be able to take a makeup exam. If you don't pass that makeup exam, you're going to be sent to your command or to the fleet as an undesignated fireman. Uh, what that means is you won't have a rate. You won't be rated. So once you get to your ship, you're going to be painting, you're going to be scrubbing the floor, you're going to be you know, cleaning toilets, pretty much. You don't want to be undesignated, guys. No. If you go undesignated, you'll be able to pick a rate later on, but it probably won't be a rate that you want. So try not to, you know, fail out of A school. Try to study hard and, you know, finish off good. Now, once you're done with Beck, like me, I'm an EM, which is an electrician's mate. I went to ATT, which is pretty much uh, dealing with combat systems, which is a school with combat system, which is FCs, ETs and all that stuff. ICs. Uh, they teach you everything with motherboards, uh, t resistors, voltage, everything. The school kind of sucked. It was pretty much all computer based. So you don't really learn much depending on the type of person you are. You just like to click through it and you know you pass all your tests, which pretty much everyone does. But try to study for that. If you're an EM, you know, try to bust your ass. Um, I finished that school early because it was in, at your own pace. Now, if you start falling behind, this also falls, uh, goes with Beck. 
um, you'll be sent to mandatory study, which is an extra hour to two every single day till you get to the point where you're supposed to be. So try not to go mandatory and not, try not to fall behind. After ATT, I went to Nine Charlie, which was nine days long, and it was my electrical uh, strand school where I learned everything dealing with electricity, voltage, generators, mortars, alarms, lighting circuits, batteries, everything. That was a great school, great experience. It was all hands-on. There was no computer in that school whatsoever, which I loved. Um, I got to troubleshoot things. I got to see things work. Um, and it was just a great overall experience. Great class. It was small. I had about 14, 13 people in my class. So that was great. Um, and I had three instructors. So everybody, you know, they got to actually help you with things. Um, if you're an MM, an HT, um, an EN, you will go from Beck to your school. Uh, the only rate that has three schools in engineering are pretty much EN, which is a Beck, ATT, 9 Charlie. That's it. Now, every other rate will have Beck and then their school. If you have any questions dealing with, you know, what rate you are and you need help, you know, answering with me answering some questions, you know, write me a comment with a question and, you know, I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Now, in A school, you know, you will have a galley. The food is great in A school. So enjoy that because once you get to your boat, the, the food sucks on the boat. I'm not going to lie. Um, in the base, you're going to have, you know, there's a club in the base, which everybody goes to to get drunk. Try not to get in trouble, guys. Try not to go to captain's mass. Just try to study hard and finish, you know, on time. Try to do that. Don't get in trouble. Don't go to captain's mass. Because people do, and once you get to your first command and they see you gone to captain's mass, you're going to look like a shit bag. And you know what they, you know, they say, first impression is the best impression. So try to look good when you get to your boat. Try to be at the top of your game. And just try to make rank. Try to be the best that you can. Um, in the A school, there's movie theaters, there's bowling, there's fishing, you could rent a boat, there's, you know, you could play soccer, football, there's pool tables, there's gyms, there's libraries, everything, you know, educate yourself, or, you know, play sports, just have fun, and don't get in trouble, um, like I said, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, I'll try to answer to the best of my ability, and that's about it, guys. I'll keep posting more videos about, you know, my Navy daily life. I just got a new uh, camera uh, with an iPhone 4S. So it's not the fanciest thing in the world, but it works pretty well. So I'll be posting more videos. All right, thank you.